What is this operation? <laughs> Oh yeah, it's not, it's only hand tight. Wow. Right in the mud. You know what's that? What are you doing? Well, Mason's just standing here like a county worker, not doing anything. So are you. I'm filming. Dummy. What's going on? We're fixing stuff. I got my project done already. What are you doing to it? We had to put a new auger on it. Why? We grew too much big corn and used the auger too much. Oh. We wore it out. Okay. So now we're putting all the fancy dancy stuff back up. The lights. About it. We're putting lights on. Well, you need a light on the end of the auger, so you can <laughs> see in the Avery is struggling with the old rivet gun. Milwaukee needs to send us some stuff. <laughs> I feel like you need to write up a list of things you want, and then we can post it as, like, a wish list. <laughs> yeah. Can we put a new combine on it? No. I don't think we'll get that. No. <laughs> Well, the boys are working on the combine. The real reason that I'm here at the farm today is because every Thursday, which today is Thursday, we clean the calf barn, Dalton and I. So I'm gonna head in here and start moving the calves around and stuff while I wait for him. But while I'm waiting for him, I will also give you guys a little tour of our calf barn. So if you don't know, or haven't seen this on our videos yet, we, um, work at the local dairy farm to raise their bull calves. So we we buy their bull calves once a week, bring them here, raise them then for um, beef cattle. So we raise most of them up until around 400, 500 pounds and then sell them to another person who raises, like finishes them. Um, and then some we keep for our beef program, where then I sell them direct to consumer through our beef brand at Prairie Raised Beef. But this is a calf barn. Have our calf barn, and then we use... Oh, I know you need food. I have to go buy you food. Um, we use an auto feeder to feed the calves, so instead of feeding them twice a day, whatever, with bottles and buckets, they can drink whenever they want. So we have four pens. This is pen. There's another pen right there, another pen right there, and then a pen right here. Um, this is what it looks like when they drink from the auto feeder. So just right there. And then the collars that they have on, there's a button. You can kind of see it on this one, a button that signals to the auto feeder who they are. Auto feeder recognizes that button and knows that number. So like this one that's drinking right here. This is 55.69. He has 1.45 liters left to drink. Um, and then they can drink up to four times a day. Um, not everyone does. This is where the milk replacer goes into. Kitten, I know you're so hungry. It's so like I said, auto one pen. There's a second pen that one can drink out of. Third. And fourth, and then they can basically drink whenever they want throughout the day, up to four times a day. Most of them don't drink four times a day, but they have the opportunity to do so. And then here's one. I'll show you guys an example. So this calf we picked up yesterday. This is one of our Wagyu Holstein. So this entire pen is all Wagyu Holstein calves. Um, this one we picked up yesterday, and so we have to train them 
for the robot and so I'll kind of show you how that process works. The calf is clearly hungry. And just like that. It's quite simple for the most part, especially if they're hungry. So I come in every morning after we pick up calves, so like, we, like you said, we got that one yesterday, and then push them up into the auto feeder so that they're trained on how to use it because they don't know how to use it right away, obviously. Um, so we push them up, and then when we go in there, again, like I showed you earlier on the little controller, it'll like recognize their number and then tell you how much they've drank yet or anything. And then sometimes they do learn on their own. And so when that happens, I have a thing on there where I can see who's drank yet and who hasn't drank yet. So when I have new ones, if they've like already taught themselves how to drink, then I don't have to worry about it. Here's another look at the barn. So this is our Wagyu Holstein cross pen. We put them all together. Um, they get grain. This will focus. Grain every single day. Um, they can eat grain whenever they want. One pen third pen, fourth pen. For the most part, they just hang out and chill. They have waters that they can go and drink from anytime they want. This is my favorite calf, Teeny. She is a little heifer and she is like 60 pounds and usually they're like 90 to 100 pounds. But Teeny is very teeny. Hello. And then this calf is Peg Leg Pete because his one front leg was kind of messed up and he was walking over kind of on his knuckles, but he has gotten to be super healthy and um, walks normal now, but we still call him Peg Leg Pete. I mean, he has a bright and shiny coat and he is super healthy. Right. He's still walking a little weird, but much, much better than he was before. Move the calves. So what we do is we clean one pen at a time or one row at a time. So like this is one row. So we'll move all the calves out of this row into that row, clean this, and then we'll move the calves from that row to here, the other pen back to the back half of this row, clean that row, and so on. Now that they're all moved out of the pen, when we go through, scrape it. I use a rake, a pitchfork, and scrape it all from the side. And then Dalton comes through with this good steer and cleans it. It's one side done. Now we're moving this side out. We'll do it all over again. While Dalton was spreading the um, corn fodder over there, I scraped this side. So I just have to scrape the other side of the pen and then do the same process over again. I'm actually going to move them out of both the middle pens because it's easier to scrape that way. So, well, Dalton's starting to scrape the other side. I'll work on getting them out of here. And then we can scrape this pen as well.
final two pens completely clean. I'm gonna start scraping the edges of this one while Dalton spreads, maybe. He's walking away from the cat barn. It's 11.30, which is when they usually get dinner, AKA lunch. So he's just leaving. Hopefully he comes back, because literally this side will take us like 15 minutes. Um, anyway, I'm going to keep scraping the edges and then hopefully he comes back and scrubs these and then finish the side and be done. Look at them just all standing around. Let's finish this project, boys. Fired up? Nope. Why not? Uh, okay, now I'm gonna move all the calves back into this pen. Dolphin's gonna spread that pen. standoff going here. Pew pew! Pew pew! Can you give me a combine update? The one that I recorded you guys on the forklift standing on. Oh, well I riveted in some of the things that you used to zip tie the wires on the auger and that's it. Well you're really grumpy when you're working on it. Right yeah, there. it wasn't going well. But you got it? I got her. Beautiful. Took a, little, took a little engineering. A really high IQ. We got her. Yeah, so smart. A smarticle particle. So she's ready to rip or no? No, it's got to have a. Well, it could it could run, but the guy in the cab isn't gonna have any AC. So. Oh, that's fine. Mason can suck it up. Yeah. Okay. I'm just a truck driver. Yep. Drive them big old trucks. Yeehaw. Woo woo. <laughs> All right. The boys left for lunch. I stayed back and worked on things on my computer. And now we're finally doing the last throw of the barn. I'm calling it a day. Well, a day for me at the farm. I have to go home and work on other things. And they'll keep working on other things. is cleaning the barn i will shut this gate and then open up on the other side so they can come back into this pen and i can go home and get all my other crap done there's nothing better though than a clean calf barn all the calves are just hanging out chilling i mean look at that they're just hanging out oh. I just think one of my favorite things on the farm is like just sitting in the calf barn and watching calves be calves. It is so funny. Just, I don't know. Their personalities are really funny to me and they just do the darn just keep things. I don't know if you can see this, but it like changes the distance or like length that the gate goes. 
and it's too long and that's why it's stuck. So we're gonna see if I can bust right through this. Who knows? I do got strong guns though. time lapse this whole thing see how long it would take me to get this open I cannot get this open. I can't get this gate open. Really? I'm not even kidding you. Watch. Watch. I can't even move it. Thought you were a strong, independent woman. I this don't look strong and independent. Can you please help me? Eh. What do you do? It's like pulled too far back and it's stuck. See, it's so hard. <laughs> Appreciate you. Oh, now Dalton comes back. This number 425 is the one that I pushed up earlier this morning and it drank then and it's uh, a couple hours later now and so it's able to drink again. So I pushed it in again, training it for the robot and he's a hungry boy. Okay, that'll be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have questions about cattle, beef, our farm, anything like that uh, be sure to let us know in the comments this is my favorite place to be on the farm so i will try and share more while we're in here but <laughs> thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one you guys are crazy oh drink <laughs>